Aries, welcome back to Kids Cards. This is Kitty, and we are doing a love reading for those in separation today. All right. This is the vice versa deck. So some of these are reversed. I drew them ahead of time to save time. I haven't gotten any feedback saying that they dislike or like it. So we will stick with this and where you can see the cards better. All right. Please do give a thumbs up to like to help promote the channel. If you land here, this could be your message. Don't make it fit if it does not. This side will be your energy and that side the person that you are disconnected from. The overall energy that I had drawn for you was the devil reverse. So with the devil reverse, my first feeling about that was that somebody feels like they have you in their back pocket. Um, and with the other cards reinforcing on their side what their current energy is, there was an argument, a dispute, and they're sneaking off with something. So something that this person did to you could have been cheating, lying, something. There was a disconnect that you, this person just was not being honest in a situation. How you are currently feeling about the situation is you've put the energy and work into this and you just feel like you're not getting anywhere. So you have moved away, at least emotionally for this time. All right. So the blockage that I had drawn for you was the king of swords in reverse. So this is showing somebody is manipulating, all right? Current blockage, manipulation, and the four of wands in reverse. There's no foundation. There's no stability in this situation, all right? Coming in for you, for your energy, you're coming up lots of swords here. You could be dealing with a Libra, very heavy, heavy on the Libra here. Um, you have the King of Rods, I'm sorry, Knight of Rods coming in, walking away in reverse. And you have the Page of Swords. So you're keeping an eye on the situation, but you're, you're very negative, I guess we're going to use as the best term for it. All right. You don't really have much um, enthusiasm regarding the situation. So the person on the other side feels that they're taking time to try to invest in this and make things better. They want to come in and show you they've changed. Okay, so we're going to clarify to see, has this actually happened? They want to offer you that stability and, and emotional. They could be holding back and being a little bit quiet, but they do feel with that devil up here that they have control over this. They can also be letting go of toxic um, personalities, traits, things that they had done, all right? Um, what is coming for you that you might not be seeing is the two of rods, future, movement, seeing a different direction, feeling you're at crossroads, the fool, looking at everything and going, um, maybe something new would be better for me. There is a lot of movement coming in, a lot of incoming messages. And there could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, coming your direction, okay? But very st stable, very, uh, a clear-cut person, very honest, um, long-term potential with that. This can be incoming messages, texting, etc., and jumping in. So there is a decision that you're going to have to make regarding two people. So let's clarify for you. Why, what had happened in the past? Why the Eight of Pentacles, please, Spirit? All right, clarifying, we have the Eight of Cups. So you could be, there. you could have already been playing back and forth with this person. This could have been not the first time that you've had this person in and out of your life. Clarify the Six of Swords, please, Spirit. All right, clarifying we have the Seven of Cups. So there's options, all right? In the past, there's been options. It could be that you've had other options because of this breakup. Let's clarify the Five of Swords. What were, what were the arguments about regarding this person? Clarify the Five of Swords, please, spirits. And we have 
the five of pentacles. This is feeling left out in the cold. This is being ghosted. This is lack of communication. All right. Clarify the seven of swords, please, spirit. I'm seeing that you've got opportunities coming your direction and they are feeling very sorry about a situation. But do you really want to play this game again with them? Who's manipulating who? All right. It doesn't look like a very sturdy foundation. Are they really going to change? Clarifying the Seven of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. There was lying. There was lying. There was falseness about this relationship somewhere. Clarifying the current energy. We have the Strength in Reverse. So right now, somebody's not holding back about how they feel. You could be moving forward into a better situation. Let's clarify the hermits on their side. Clarify the hermit, please, spirit. What does this person want? Clarify the hermit. All right. We have judgment. So it's looking like they feel that they've been judged incorrectly. They might be looking at trying to come at you with that king's cup to give you love but they want a reunion all right let's see what do you want in the current situation what does aries want in the current situation please spirit what does aries want okay you want justice you want fairness you want there to be an even give and take you want clarity can Aries trust this person, Spirit? Can you trust this person? Okay. We have the Six of Wands. So they're feeling triumphant. There is a potential that this could work out. However, it would probably be a lot of work. All right, let's get... Um, I did ask for advice for you, and we will clarify that as well. We have the High Priestess, and we also have the Queen. There's the front side of her. Queen of Cups in reverse. So, you need to use your intuition, and if you're going to feel bitter about a situation with love, is it best for you? Probably not. Let's see. Let's clarify... What would be best for Aries in this situation? What would be best? If they're going to continue to be lying, I mean, they want to see things move forward. You're going to have love no matter what, okay? Let's see here. It's going to be your decision in the end. It really is. Do you want to take another, beat that dead horse around the track one more time, beat that dead horse around the block? Okay, so for potential with this person, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Sun in Reverse, and the Emperor. So the Emperor is very stoic. He is stable. Um, he tells it like it is. He's the one that makes the rules in the situation. The sun being in reverse in the page of pentacles. All right. The page of pentacles can be a little bit selfish and greedy. So is it, is it saying that this person with the sun in reverse is not going to be able to supply the happiness that you're looking to have, even if they continue to, or I should say, don't continue to deceive or lie about a situation that they had in the past. But with the emperor here and with the devil upside down, if they're letting go of that toxicity, who you want to be? In Aries, really? No, you're the one in charge. Okay, so we're going to also... Uh, it's a mess here, Aries, I'm telling you. Let's clarify that. King of Pentacles. Who is this? The King of Pentacles is clarified with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. 
this is suggesting that if somebody, if you go a different direction, you might have better luck with somebody else. You will have to let go of the pain that you have from the past and the past situation that you've moved away from but can be coming back your direction. Do you want, you know, this is what you want, you strive for. Can you have that with somebody else in the future? Yes, definitely. Can you have it with the past person if they say they've changed, they've mended their ways, they want a reunion? Yes, definitely is possible. Um, that's going to be up to you to decide because there is definitely going to be somebody coming your direction. Heavy in the fire, so Aries yourself. Leo and Sagittarius can be coming your way. The Fool, again, Aries. And now we are going to go through Aries through Pisces to see what person could be coming your direction for singles and separated Aries. What person could, okay, coming your direction if it is an Aries. What flipped out is the Empress. Nice card. So the Empress is abundance. She's the nurturer. She's loving. She's caring. It's major arcana. Can you trust this person? King of Pentacles definitely can trust that person. If you are dealing with a Taurus, too many cards on the deck here. Move some of this around. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Taurus, please, spirits. All right, we have the High Priestess. So there's things that you don't know about this person yet. You'll have to use your intuition. So you can clarify that for Taurus, please, spirit. Clarifying is the King of Cups. But they will be very emotional. They will be mature. They will be available. So it seems the Taurus would possibly be a good option. If you were dealing with the Gemini, that was quick. You have the Four of Rods. They're looking to be happy. They want a union. They want something to celebrate. If you are dealing with a Cancer. And we have, oh, very nice. The Two of Cups. So that would be a very good potential. Looks like they are definitely interested in you. If you are dealing with the Leo, that was quick too. All right, they are coming out as death. So this could have been a change for them, and they are a little bit stuck in their head. Eight of swords. So maybe give that one a little bit of time. It definitely um, can potentially still be be there, I would just give it a little bit of time before you jump too far in. If you're dealing with a Virgo, so is your guys. All right. If you are dealing with a Virgo, nice. They're looking at expanding with you. They can definitely see there being a future. If you're dealing with a Libra, if you are dealing with a Libra spirit, all right. See what popped up. Justice. Libra card for Libra. They want balance. Will they be somebody that you can trust? Okay. Ooh, I'd be careful with that. They're in the middle of something themselves right now. They want things to be fair, but they still have some decisions to be making. If you're dealing with a Scorpio. All right. We have the Four of Cups. They're having a pity party about something themselves and are kind of holding back a little bit, um, not really offering any emotions. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, okay. Sagittarius is watching you, Page of Swords. Will there be a connection? Seven of Pentacles. They're willing to put in some work with you. So there is, there, I think, a little bit more on the quiet side is what it feels like. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I think we're in Capricorn. Capricorn, please, our spirit guides. Quite the confusing reading. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Things could be moving forward with that person. And with the Nine of Cups right under it, nice energy. Sees you as wish fulfillment. Sweet. If you are dealing with an Aquarius. Aquarius. One or two. Please do it. Okay. 
fallen out is the Ten of Swords. They're still, they just ended a cycle right now. However, there could be a decision that needs, um, they could have also a placement of the Gemini. They could see potentially being in a relationship with you or they have a decision to make. If you are dealing with a Pisces, they're manifesting someone. They feel like you're manifesting them. Let's get one more card, please, Spirit. That was fast again, Pisces. They are just starting to feel more of themselves, so I would probably hold off and wait a little bit on that one. I am sorry, you guys. You have some very complex energies right now. It doesn't necessarily seem like this wonderful person from your past coming back and offering you this great reunion. It seems more sneaky. And with the Seven of Swords, clarifying the Seven of Swords, I'd be very careful. At the bottom of the uh, cards for the universe, I'm sorry, we have the learn. So are you learning from past mistakes or are you learning from somebody? We're going to try for one angel oracle. Romance card for you. All right, what do we have popping out? Okay, we have codependency. And popped out where you couldn't see it was romantic feelings. So it can be that the person that you had dealt with in the past wants you back because they are codependent and they can't take care of themselves. Or they rely on you too much. It can be that you're feeling codependent, that you don't want to be alone right now. However, I don't think that is so because you've got some very potent cards on your side. And romantic feelings. There's definitely going to be somebody coming in and offering you some stable emotions. It's definitely there. And there's definitely going to be some new messages coming in. All right. Crazy energy for you, Aries. I hope that it uh, didn't confuse you too much. We will check back in a few days and see what we get. Thanks for watching and many blessings.